What's up, y'all? College football is approaching fast. Check out another version of the Boss and the Sauce show coming up right now. Let's go. Texas Tech's Red Raiders. And in this one, um, Coach Matt Wells comes over from the Mountain West, Utah State. In his first year right here at Texas Tech on the Astro Turf. We'll see what this guy can do over here. Now, he inherits a team with the tools to go next level. They have the stadium, the alumni, the facilities. They have everything set for a team that wants to get to the next level. They've just been falling short. So the offense returns seven starters led by QB Allen Bowman. And the offense averaged 37.3 games last year in 2018. It should become the same, if not better, in 2019. On the defensive side of things, they brought in new defensive coordinator. This defensive coordinator is taking them um, to a 3-3-5 look this year, which is more of a better look in this Big 12 conference because of all the passing. They're not run heavy. I think the 3-3-5 is a better defense to have right here for this Texas Tech team, and it might get them a little more success on defense, which is where they were lacking. Now, all the proof is in the pudding this year, and they draw a tough schedule with a new coach, but should definitely improve from five and something to at least seven, eight wins this year with this coach out of um, Utah State. Yeah, Texas Tech, they're they're known as uh, Air Texas, Texas Air Raid. So, like you said, they do have the uh, new coach coming in from Utah State. They did keep on uh, David Yost who's the uh, OC, the offensive coordinator. So he looks to keep that that portion of the game intact. Uh, now, they did have two tough losses. They came off of, of a 5-7 uh, and seven record overall, 3-6 and six in conference. They, they had real two, two close games to uh, loss with uh, eventual championship contenders, Texas and Oklahoma. So that's a good luck. And usually what happens with teams that come off of close losses, they kind of take those – losses that move forward. But like you say, first year coach on offense and a new uh, a defensive coordinator, they were ranked towards the bottom. They were ranked uh, like 103rd in the running game. So they definitely have to take some steps forward there in the running game. And they are young in the running back position. They have a, a sophomore and a freshman running back. So look for them to build on that a little bit. And overall, defensively speaking, they, uh, they ranked uh, 108th and 129th in passing, so they got some uh, holes to fill on the on the uh, on the defensive side on the pass game. So we'll see. There's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, first year coach, first year defensive coordinator. I look for this team to be in rebuild mode and maybe compete in some tough, you know, some early games, the cupcake games. Maybe they get some W's there. I'm looking at maybe going three and six in the conference and maybe uh, five and seven overall. What do you think about that? Well, what I see is I see a four-game stretch right here that they may have trouble in. They come out playing Montana State. Then they go to UTEP. I mean, they play home versus UTEP. Then they go to Arizona. But then they have to see at Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Baylor, and Iowa State back-to-back-to-back. They get a break with Kansas and West Virginia. They see TCU, Kansas State, and then they end it at Texas. So the schedule is uh, lined out pretty tough for him this year it's going to take a lot out of them to go next level but with this coach coming from utah state type of organization that he runs if these players over here buy into this system then um he should do well um he should do well over here at texas tech because his system is it was a little bit advanced for the mountain west being that it's a um it's more of a air raid type attack as well so being that his system's uh, right matched up into the conference that he's going to in, this guy may become a contender, maybe a, maybe a standout turnaround season right here, but I don't hope for it. Um, I say seven, eight wins max, but definitely better than the five, wow. five and seven year that they had last year. Yeah, you're being awful nice giving them seven, eight wins. I, I got them like five, six wins max, maybe both season early early in the uh, bowl season for this team so we shall see what happens and guess what we're on to the next one 